In the, in the context of our happiness data report, I'm in column C now, which says extract country. And I'm going to write equals mid, left parentheses for now. And I'm just going to experiment by looking at the first cell of data, which is Finland. I want to pull out the word Finland. It's going to be equals mid, left parentheses, and then comma, sorry, co left parentheses, then B2, comma, Let's see, Finland starts at position one, two, three, four, comma, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters in the word Finland. So the formula is mid left parentheses B2, comma, four, comma, seven, right parentheses, and I'll get the word Finland. And you notice in Google Sheets, automatically suggest an autofill. If I hit yes, the problem is that the word, the countries are all gonna be pulled out differently because the first problem you're going to notice is that not all countries start in position four, and also the length of all the country names is not all seven. Mid B2, comma four, comma seven happens to work for the first row of data because Finland happens to start in position four of the text, and then Finland, the country, just so happens to have seven characters of data. So that works for the first cell, but we have to find a more programmatic way to make this work for every single uh, data point in our data set. So how do we do this? So if you go down, if we think about how we can pull out just the first position from the cell that we want, you can start thinking about using the find function. So instead of using four in the, the second argument here in the mid function, I'm going to write find left parentheses B2, which again contains all our data, comma, double quote, left parentheses, double quote, right parentheses. So what I'm telling Google Sheets to do right now is for the starting position, find where the first instance of the left parentheses shows up, and that's going to be position four here. So if I hit enter, let's see what happens. I, I get, a, I get a, an error, and why does it happen? Uh, what did I do here that's incorrect? Find. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I think I just, I'm missing a parentheses here. Ah, oh, I just mixed up. I actually mixed up the order of this. It's actually find double quote, left parentheses, double quote. I'm looking for the left parentheses, the first upper left parentheses in cell B2. And you notice that the answer is left parentheses, F-I-N-L-A-N. So it looks like we're missing the letter D and we're also incorrectly including the left parentheses in our final output. So I'm going to add a one next to this find function in order to start the position, not at position three, which is the, the position of the left parenthesis column, left parenthesis character. I'm gonna do plus one to change this from three to four. And so now you can see that the extract country is correctly Finland because we found the instance of the first left parenthesis, which is right here. We simply just add a one to that position. So this is one, two, three. So this is the third third position. By adding one to it, we just move it to this fourth, fourth position, which is the letter F in Finland. So it looks like we're getting close to what we want. So, but if I drag this formula down a little bit, you notice that it still doesn't work exactly what we want. For instance, in number, row number nine, we have New Zealand. It just says new space Z. And that's because every single formula here is correctly finding the starting position, but only returns back the first seven characters. What happens if the country has less than seven characters or more than seven characters? Then you're gonna get an incorrect result. So this is probably the hardest part of the function that we're gonna to have to build, which is how do we dynamically and programmatically tell Google Sheets to change this length number Remember, back to just to recap what we did so far, the mid function takes in three arguments. 
first we have the cell that we want to break apart and extract, which is B2. We have the find left parentheses B2 plus 1. This is just finding the first position where we want to start pulling data from. And the third argument is the 7, which is the number of characters we want to return back. So the trick here is we're going to use the find function two more times in order to programmatically get the length of the the country name that we want to pull back. And the pattern that you recognize here in all the cells is that the country names are within parentheses. So we have an open parentheses and a closing parentheses. So we can actually use that closing parentheses to our advantage in order to, to build out this like uh, dynamic find function to get the length of the country. So what I'm going to do here is f do find left parentheses, double quote, and we'll look for the closing parentheses this time within cell B2. So that's my first find function. I have this right here, find closing parentheses in cell B2. So that's going to give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Position 11 in cell B2, which is our Finland data, position 11 contains the starting position of the closing parentheses. That's what this find closing parentheses is going to result to. And then I'm going to, I'm going to subtract the position of the opening parentheses, which we kind of already did in the first uh, part of this formula. So I'm just going to copy this, find opening parentheses, put that back here in the end of the formula. So now I have minus find double quote, left parentheses double quote, comma B2. So think about what this is doing now. This is taking position 11, which is the close parentheses position, which is right here, this part of the formula, and it subtracts the position of the left, the open parentheses in the cell, which is right here, position 3. So if I, if I hit enter here, You'll notice that I'm going to get an incorrect answer because it contains, whoops, it contains an extra closing parentheses. And what happens is I did 11 minus 3, which gives me the number 8, but we actually only need the number 7 because there's only 7 characters in the word Finland. And we actually have to put a minus 1 after this, these two find functions. So now it's find closing, closing parentheses minus find the opening parentheses, and then minus 1. And that's going to give us the correct number of 7. And now you can see that the country correctly results to Finland. And now if I just drag this formula down, oops, just drag it down, you'll see that all the country is now pulling correctly regardless of the length of the country name and also regardless of where the country starts in our cell of data. So that's a really neat trick here for pulling out the just the country name using the mid function and the find function basically three times in order to pull out the the country name. With anything where you're kind of pulling out data and you're recognizing patterns in the data set, it always makes sense to kind of scroll through and make sure that everything looks correct. And you'll notice here in cell, let's see here. I know there's a mistake here somewhere. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. In row 104, we have the country name. So just to show you, tell you what exactly the cell says, it says 103, which is the rank, space, left parentheses, Congo, left parentheses, Br Brazzaville, and then two right parentheses, followed by dash 4.8.12. Our formula does not account for situations where the country name contains extra like stuff after the country name in parentheses. So in this case, Brazzaville is in parentheses after Congo. And you notice that in the extract column, it shows up as Congo space left parentheses Brazzaville, and there is no closing parentheses. So we have two options here. We can either manually change this one cell, so that it gets rid of Brazzaville, 
or we just include it and, and put a closing parentheses, or we ultimately change the formula here that we have written to account for situations like this, these really rare edge cases where there's country names with extra stuff within parentheses after the country name. Not sure if it's correct here because we have another example here with Congo with Kinshasa and maybe this is a big enough problem where we want to manually create the formula, but since there's only 156, 156 countries of data that I, I need to kind of fix and most of the data is correct, I might just manually change these cells to I'll manually type in like the closing parentheses uh, at the end of Brazzaville, or I might just delete Brazzaville entirely if I don't want to like put in, you know, specific regions and countries. And this really comes down to the kind of the bigger picture of how you're going to use this formula in practice. And this actually speaks to the the video actually I mentioned at the at the top of this um, episode, which is when to use Power Query versus um, formulas. Because one might argue that you could just use text to columns to fix this problem. You could just, let's, say, let's actually insert a bunch of empty rows here. And I could just select column B and then select data, split text to columns, and then change the separator to be a left parentheses. Whoops, let me do that again. Change the custom separator to be a left parentheses, hit enter. And you notice that column C now contains almost exactly what I need with the country name. Now instead, I'm going to select column C again, go to data, split text columns, separator. Oh, I keep on clicking outside of here, text to columns. Oops, I have to select column D, column C, data, split text columns, separator is a right parentheses. And you see that I can correctly already get the country name in column C just by doing two, tech, two steps of text to columns. 